Well, good afternoon. Really excited uh, to have another training session here uh, today at School of Photographers of America. And we're going to be discussing non-contract seniors uh, and how this can really enhance uh, if you have a brick and mortar studio uh, and how you really can enhance uh, your opportunity, uh, your profits and grow your business. Um, so we also are doing this with a not a new, they've actually been around for uh, years, uh, but a industry uh, supplier, ASL Marketing. And so we'll bring them in and queue them up and a gentleman by the name of Steve that, that's on the call with us today uh, on how they can help you with this. So, you know, when you think of non-contract seniors, some people are like, man, I just have business and I got contracts with my schools. Why would I ever do that? Um, and I'm going to tell you why, uh, because at the end of the day, non-contract seniors really just open up your portfolio. If you've got, I can go back to almost 20 years ago when I had a studio, um, I happened to come upon Steve and his team and, you know, they were, they were selling addresses at the time. And I'm like, man, do I really want to do this? And uh, I, you know, is it really going to work? And yeah, without a question, the marketing, the postcard, the brochure, the letter that you mail dictates how that's going to work or not. However, uh, having that address for those, those seniors was huge. And, and so it radically transformed my business. Um, I went from a market where my studio was of, I had about access to 22 high schools around. I had contracts with 10 and with, within probably a year and a half, actually, of buying addresses uh, from uh, these industry suppliers, um, I ended up picking up eight more of those high schools um, within a year and a half. And what really happened, what transformed my business uh, was being able to do 20 to 35 seniors at each high school. And those seniors going in and asking, like, why aren't we using, you know, so-and-so? Uh, and you know, that opened that when I'm knocking on the door of the yearbook advisor, knocking on the door of that principal, it really just, they knew who I was. They knew the quality because the seniors were showing what we were doing. Uh, and it really, really changed, uh, the opportunity. So non-contract seniors, great way to keep the studio running right now. We're seeing, uh, in this industry, we all know this, that it's hard to keep great people. Uh, and a lot of studios, the way they gear up and then they gear down because they're not spreading their schedule, uh, they don't have enough hours for some of their top photographers. And when you have non-contract seniors, again, they don't, they're not looking uh, for the yearbook image. Uh, they're really just there to get, uh, in their minds, real senior photography uh, because they respect you and they respect your brand. They respect the culture that you're creating. Um, and when you do that, you can photograph these, you know, all year round, uh, really about the only down months and in, in doing this has tended to be January, February and March. And that's traditionally why we're launching this uh, program now is so that you can sit back and go, man, I could still get in this game. It's not too late. And you could be picking up um, non-contract seniors and photographing them in your studio as early as this April. Uh, and then photographing all the way till December, in some cases, even into January. It's a great way, like I already said, it's a great way for you to work into the school, earn that school's contract, because that yearbook advisor is surely going to know, maybe even some of the people on his or her yearbook staff actually went to you. Uh, and so there's a, there's a great opportunity there. Um, it's a great way to increase your brand within the market that you serve. Uh, and without question, you start picking up three or four high schools uh, and you're only doing 20 to 30. Uh, and Steve will agree with me when you do those 20 or 30, as long as you're doing it the right way, you're, it's not like your normal contract. It, yeah, I mean, you're selling, they're there to buy from you. Uh, so if you photograph 20 to 30 at a high school, you sold 20 or 30 packages at that high school. And if you've got a you know, strong offering that can be great money and a great way to provide for your photographers. Um, you know, there's out of question. This is actually my oldest daughter and uh, my oldest daughter 
Uh, I have um, some friends, obviously I've worked in the school of photography industry for a long time. And, you know, some of these images are from two different photographers and, you know, we built when she graduated, you know, this, but uh, we, we actually did not use the contracted school of photographer. We wanted her to have like an unbelievable experience with her. Uh, and, and, and so uh, blessed that I know a lot of school photographer companies and senior photographers. So I was able to, uh, to do this. And these are the type of products and services that people want today. And kids want, you know, they want the images that they're going to post on Instagram and that, you know, sure, we still need those traditional images without question that because that really creates our brand and our traditions of school photography. Uh, but you also have to step out and provide. And sometimes when you're trying to herd them through like cattle at the school, they're not able to get that personalized experience. And this is where, you know, doing some non-contract at a slower pace and a longer opportunity gives you uh, that great opportunity. So how do you do it? And, and that's what we're here to talk about today. And, uh, you know, when you start sitting back and like, how do you take and get you know, the access to these. Well, there's multiple ways, but one of the first ways, and I'm a huge advocate, um, mail still really works, uh, is partnering with a group like ASL Marketing. Um, they've got 50 years uh, of experience working with this marketplace uh, and work with studios all across the country. And you can buy zip codes, you can buy counties, you can buy lots of uh, addresses. Sometimes they get email, but again, in the world we live in and student data privacy, uh, that that's not, that's few and far between. Uh, but when you do your mailings, right, I know Steve will talk about this as well. You can really, uh, capitalize on this opportunity. Seniors have an urge and a yearning for a personalized and customized session. Uh, and when you can market that really well, you will, you will radically change your, your business. So, um, Steve, uh, I'm going to let you take the floor from here and just give them a little bit about what you do and what does that look like? How does it work? If I turned around and, you know, contacted you, how fast could I get, you know, access to these addresses and stuff? Thank you. Uh, first of all, thank you, David. And um, it's a pleasure, pleasure to have the opportunity to speak and engage with everyone here. Um, I hope that my, my, my video is, or my face is not scaring everyone off, but uh, really a pleasure. Um, you know, I take a personal interest in this uh, as, a, as a parent myself and had put through two boys, two sons, not only through high school, but through college. So, you know, my wife and I, when my, uh, my two sons were graduating high school, we did, we followed the same path. Uh, of not just, you know, above and beyond having their photograph in the school yearbooks, but getting professional, you know, pictures taken by a professional photographer. So we did very similar, we followed a very similar path, David. Um, so I, I take a very, you know, very personal interest in, in, in yeah. this piece of our business. Um, just, a, you know, as David mentioned very briefly, uh, we have been around for, we're celebrating our 51st year in business. Uh, of providing and compiling uh, names and addresses of active matriculating high school students and college students. But I know today we're here to talk about um, high school students, but you know, there might also be an opportunity for, you know, for college students that are graduating as well. But Absolutely. Uh, we have, we have, we have helped thousands of photographers over the years, and that is no exaggeration. Uh, target this this audience, and I know that many of you out there, as, as David alluded to, you know, have relationships directly with you know with high schools around the country. But here at ASL, we can help fill a void because clearly, you know, in the world we live in today, with privacy, uh, schools not being as forthcoming with providing information or consumers, for that matter, uh, we can certainly help fill a void. You know, photography. Senior portraits is one. We also do a lot in, uh, believe it or not, for prom, prom pictures, uh, yeah. which sadly over the last two years due to the pandemic, um, you know, paused for many, you know, many of our clients, but we're starting to see an uptick in that again. So as we reach, you know, and get back to some sort of a normal or what the new normal will be. So uh, for us, we, you know, our database is, is quite robust. Uh, we, 
the data is not selectable by a specific high school. That is not how we gather our data. Uh, it, it is uh, selectable um, by zip codes. The, for the you know, thousands of photographers who we've worked with over the course of our history typically provide us with the geography right. that we are looking to target, uh, regardless of you know, where that student may uh, go to high school. Uh, they still reside in a particular zip code or area or county, again, as David said, or, you know, even a, a wider range, depending on whether you're in a more uh, urban or rural area. And uh, we could provide all of the names and addresses of uh, those households that have a graduating senior in the household. And we, we are the only company in the country that does this. So we, um, we provide actually the name of the student. Uh, on about 80% of our data, we also have the name of the parent. Yep. Uh, so we can, you know, we can provide the data either way. Uh, you know, and again, speaking as a parent myself, any male that came into, I know it might, might sound old school, but any male that came into my, my home that was addressed to my children my wife and i took a you know pretty hard look at whether it it's, was a it's it's funny that you say that i uh yeah obviously i spent a ton of time in marketing and learning this and how to and i found a system that worked flawlessly and that is instead of branding your envelopes with all your logos and images and everything else i did a plain white envelope yes it said to the parents of Yes. In the holy mackerel that it got opened and it was red. Um, and so I do know that there's some marketing tips and tricks. And, you know, I, I sit back and you look at this image of the, the, the male photographer taking the female's photo and the assistant over to the side. You know, if that student has an, let's say this is a non-contract senior that you partner with ASL, that mark, that you, let's say, five kids for a high school that you really want to target started to come in. If you do an incredible session, which I hope you are, right? Uh, why would you spend the money if you're not? Uh, but if you do an incredible session and then you leave them with a, a gift, and we would always have a bag, a gift bag for non-contract seniors, and it would have a, a water bottle with the, the senior information. It would have some other stuff, but it would also have um, an invite card. And so what they would do is if they had five seniors from their senior class come to our studio, uh, after the fifth senior referral card came in, they would get like $100 off or $200 off. And you will be amazed when you do that with the right parents and the right student, how many they'll recruit into your studio. So again, ASL marketing is a great opportunity to get you started. It's not going to be the one all be all no marketing approach is, but it is the best approach in my opinion to get in and infiltrate if you want that senior contract in the future. And let's say they're locked up with a, a company and they've been with them forever, but you are a, you've got a great product, a great service, and you really want to uh, get in there's a great way to get yourself in. And eventually, once you start photographing 20, 30, 40, especially at a school that has, say, 300 seniors, it's a great way that the yearbook staff and that principal are going to know, man, yeah, we've, we're seeing the pictures and they're doing a wonderful job. We might want to talk to them next year when our contract comes open. Um, so there, there's some credible information there for you. Um, Thank you. I, yeah, I, I agree, David. Thank you so, so much. Um, I, I really appreciate that. And, and you know, it is all true, um, especially the, the piece um, about it doesn't have to be a real fancy mail piece. Um, not at all. I think you I think you nailed it in the sense of any, you know, addressing it to the parents of Stephen Stoles or to the yep. parents of David Crandall. You know, it, it, it is very impactful. Um, just, just to you know, briefly touch upon you know, um, you know, email as well. I know you mentioned that, uh, David. Yep. You know, we do have email on a portion of our data. I think I can speak for most out there. Um, I know I can speak for myself that while email can be a uh, effective branding channel, mm -hmm. it clearly is not going to be as responsive um, in terms of acquisition, customer yeah. acquisition than something that physically does come in the house. I think we can all, you know, we all know that our mailboxes are not as cluttered as they used to be. Yep. 
you know, the catalogers are, you know, no longer out there and, you know, you're not getting as many offers via the mail. So, you know, even a, something as simple as a, uh, you know, a, a very well done postcard yep. that is targeted to this household um, can be quite effective. I think we, you know, I know at least for me, email, email to me now is the junk mail. Yeah, it's <laughs> true. Honestly. It's so uh, true. You know, I'm, afraid, I, I, I'm afraid to open up things. I'm afraid, you know, it might be, uh, you know, there, it could be a virus. You never know. But, um, you know, a, 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 as simple as a, ma a mail piece, as a, you know, a nice, well done postcard, oh. be quite, quite effective. So anyway, I'm, I I'd, I'll, no, no, I, I, I hands down agree. The, the best advice I'd give anybody that wants to get into this space um, you know, myself, I, I would be glad to help you, uh, for any member company that wants to, uh, really get engaged and figure out how to do this, uh, this, this, uh, this spring, I know Steve will, they will give you any type of information, any ads, anything they've seen. I will just tell you from experience, uh, that without a question, I was always kind of a maverick, no matter what company I was at, I would, I would try different marketing approaches and a plain white envelope with the, with the address to, uh, um, to the parents of, um, it does get opened. And I was big on just having a little trifold of our images and what we offer and mm -hmm. then a personal letter to that parent. And we would explain, Hey, we are not your contracted photographer at the school, but better yet, we are a great school or we are a great senior photography studio that really captures in the essence of who your child is. And, you know, we're going to give them a two, three hour session, uh, blah, 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 blah. And you can offer different things that you're not doing for your contracts, right? Because you, you've got so much opportunity. So, you know, we always, we always say, you know, definitely give something to get them in. Uh, maybe it's the, the first five seniors from your school get a, you know, a sit fee for free or get, you know, whatever the case may be. But if you entice, you will land. And then once you get some, man, it really starts to come in. So yeah. all that being yeah. said, incredible opportunities for non-contract seniors really to uh, increase your profits, increase your participation, increase your, your brand awareness, and really just grow your company and keep photographers on year round. Uh, you know, there's, there's without a question, you know, that's the key is keeping staff um, happy, uh, providing them with a, a great work environment, uh, great benefits and great opportunity uh, and, a, and hopefully you're a great boss to work for. Um, and when you can do those things, your, your studio will grow. And this is one of those elements that one of those pieces of the wheel that'll keep that wheel going. Uh, and I could not think of a better company to have as a partner than ASL Marketing. So again, okay. here's all Steve's information, Joan, uh, Denise, uh, their general information. I know they'd love to help you in any way, shape, or form. And Steve, you, you want to close us in any way, shape, or form? Yeah, thank you again, David. I, I really appreciate the the opportunity today. And um, again, it's something that you know personally, I um, you know I believe in because we you know we have many many photographers, many senior portrait studios who have quite honestly worked with us in many cases, several twenty five or thirty years. So um, that's a, you know, a testament to, uh, you know, our data, you know, our customer service and being able to help. Uh, the nice thing about it, obviously, I'm stating the obvious, is that every year there are new seniors. Oh, so, yeah. you know, our database continues to update. Sure. So, um, and the last thing I will say, I probably, I'm sure everyone's thinking, what is, you know, what is the cost involved in this? Yep. The cost for the data, quite frankly, is the least expensive part of of the entire program of campaign of mailing that you would do. Um, you know, for us, it, it, it's based on the number of names that we have in a specific, in your specific geographic area. Sure. It could be, you know, the cost for the data could be as low as, you know, several hundred dollars. Um, you know, if, if we have a lot more names, you know, the, the cost goes up obviously, but it's on right. a CPM basis. It's, it, you know, again, the data is the least expensive part, but, all it takes is a very, very small response rate. Uh, you know, a couple of a couple of sessions, and the, I guarantee you, the campaigns will more than pay for themselves. Guarantee. Yeah. On on average, I always looked and said that you know 30, 30 seniors would yield somewhere between twelve and and eighteen thousand dollars in additional revenue, and so. Right. 
for doing a mailing and buying the list, it was a no brainer for me. And uh, it worked every time. And I would actually, you know, going off script, I would tell people when they're thinking about their marketing, even for contracted seniors, uh, big experience I learned was instead of paying for branded materials and envelopes, I started to do a white envelope to the parents or to the parents of you know, David Crandall and the return address, I made the school. And then I made the schools aware that I was doing that. That way, if a senior didn't get their information or the address was wrong, it came back to the high school. Uh, and, and as long as you communicate that on the front end, it was, a, it was a big thing. So there's definitely lots of marketing strategy. I know Steve and, and or myself will help in any way, shape or form. But with that, we hope that this 22 minutes has been impactful. And we, we uh, again, both ASL and School Photographers America, hope that we can help grow your studio, your seniors and your business and brand. And we look forward to doing it for years to come. So have a wonderful rest of your day. You all take care. Thank you, everyone.